Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 529 for Thursday, February 15th, 2024. This week we have banter, news, updates, the 2024 Lamy Safaris and Inks, Leuchtturm, Schaefer, Pentel, a contest winner, a new contest, plus nothing at the moment that is coming soon. That's not quite true, but... Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. You know, this weekend... I was watching, this past weekend, I was watching a, a documentary on TV about Bruce Lee. Okay. Yeah, it was super cool. Um, you know, he's got, he's got, he could punch eight times in one second. Okay. Do you know he had a brother? Sudden, he was faster. But I'm tish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think you forgot something in the intro. I forgot something in the intro? Yes. What did I forget in the intro? Well, you said um, the new 2024 Lamy Safaris. You didn't emphasize. And inks. And I'm inks. excited. Yes. Well, we're not there yet. I we're know, but I'm just telling people now. This is awesome. So... <laughs> Today, Thursday, February 15th, is Susan B. Anthony Day. Uh, this commemorates the birthday of Susan B. Anthony and celebrates women's suffrage in the U.S. Um, I personally have kind of a special place in my heart for Susan B. Anthony. My hometown is pre-revolutionary in upstate New York, and uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton was born there. And there are signs all over town about Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony spoke here. Susan B. Anthony slept here. Um, and so all of upstate New York is, is very, uh, big in that. Spend your Susan B. Anthony dollars. No, Thursday. keep those. Those are cool. <laughs> Sunday, February 18th, National Drink Wine Day. Near and um, dear to my heart. Yeah, you don't have to ask twice. A uh, glass of wine <laughs> around the fire in summer. I like doing that. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then Monday, February 19th is President's Day. Uh, this day honors all of those who served as president of the United States and specifically honors George, George Washington, Washington, the original prez. The OG. <laughs> GW, right? the OG? <laughs> yeah. The OG. Um, uh, news. Uh, so. You know what? Go back to that. Go back to so the OG. Back in the day when you were in grade school, mm -hmm. didn't you have like Washington Day and then Lincoln Day? I don't remember. I want to say I remember like fifty years ago. They were like literally. Well, yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I want to say that back in the day, there were like two separate days, and then at some point they combined them into just President's Day. But there was like Lincoln and Washington. We could talk about them on different days. Yeah. 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 I know. So all right. So what do we uh, got anyway, up? news. Uh, so uh, Eric, uh, after very little persuasion. Uh, Eric and I have decided we are going to uh, revisit the Sunday brunch, uh, which actually we did more episodes than I thought we did, we okay. like well over 20. Um, so we're going to redo it uh, again. Uh, Sunday, March 25th, uh, apparently is the date. And uh, our main topic is going to be on Parker Lucky Curve pens. The pen, the feed, the whole thing. Absolutely. Yep. Wherever you go yep. with that. Yep, okay? the, whole, the whole thing. So we're talking about Parker Lucky Curves on March 25th for Sunday brunch. Awesome. Uh, reminder that the Appleton Pen Club, the next meeting is March 2nd, and we are offering a journaling workshop. Uh, March 2nd, the um, Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. The cost is $35.00. And it includes a journaling bundle with a notebook, fountain pen, a pouch, and all sorts of um, extra supplies. You'll go home with several um, rolls of washi tape, some stickers, other accessories, and um, I, don't, I don't even know what no. Lindsay's tossing into that box. But it there's a bunch of things. It should already. be interesting. Yep. I mean, your 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 cost is like you get you get that with your supplies, and then yes. it's like you get the the workshop for free. You're also going home with a. Um, sheet or two of uh, journaling prompts and a couple other things. Uh, your best bet is to sign up by the, uh, by the ticket, and that way that reserves your spot. There are only a total of 10 spots, and they are already about half taken. Yep. Should be fun. Lindsay's going to teach it, and um, That'll be interesting. I think we're going to sit in and heckle from the back. Yes. Because yes. that's what parents do. 
What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop. All right. So, um, as Lamy does, they come out with new pen colors every year. And so this year, again, they have two. Um, one is called Cliff Pink. Pink Cliff. Oh, sorry. Pink, Pink Cliff. Yeah, You're right. It's Pink Cliff. They spelled it wrong yeah. on our thing. So Pink Cliff. So these are multicolored. And Violet Blackberry. So the Pink Cliff has a kind of a gray-blue barrel and cap and then a bright pink, bright pink section, section and finial, and finial uh, with a black, black plated nib. clip yep. or nib and clip, which is cool. Um, and then the violet, and this is a matte, it's a matte finish. Texture, matte finish yeah. So it's slightly textured, mm -hmm. uh, which I personally like. Um, I'm in love with this color, the violet blackberry. So it's shiny, glossy in a dark purple. And then it has a bright purple section I'm going to drop things. And finial, also with uh, black plated nib, black clip. Uh, very cool. Matte, matte texture on that on that blackberry, or on that uh, on the, violet part. On the section yep. is a matte finish. Yeah, very cool. So they come in fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. I like this one. This is nice. Yeah. Really nice color. Great nice color. color. Um, also, while supplies last. Yep, while supplies get, last. Fountain pen purchases get a free matching pen sleeve. Uh, you don't need to do anything. We'll just throw them in uh, until they're gone. While we have them, yep. yep. <clears throat> uh, also, this is exciting. Finally, it's been years since Lamy came out with new ink colors. And I don't, you want that one? I do. <laughs> so the pink cliff matches the body of the pen. So it's kind of a dark so there's, blue. So there's no, there's no pink there's involved no pink. In, the, in the ink. So I'm not it's a, sure. It's actually a blue-black. Yeah. It's kind of a nice blue-black. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of like uh, like, uh, like a Seiboku. Yeah, it's, it's really very, pretty. Very, very dark, dark blue-black. And then the violet blackberry is a really dark kind of plummy purple. Honestly, we were having a conversation before the podcast. It reminds me of my grandmother's blackberry cobbler. I love blackberries. Um, really pretty colors, but I'm just excited that it's been a couple years since Lamy it's came out with yeah. matching ink colors. So keep that up, Lamy. Yeah. Everybody loves new ink. Standard standard bottle with the um, blotter paper, the blotter strip yep. uh, in the, in the base. So, so. Uh, that's exciting. Uh, that's just in, and uh, there's lots of them available. Yes. Cartridges will be coming soon. Yes, the cartridges are not um, available yet until next month, I think. Yep. So. Also, just in a big, big Lamy restock, including Eric loves these new uh, or not new, but the uh, A4 Plus notebooks. Um, I know we have a couple well, they're big and heavy. We have a couple local customers nice. who love those. Yeah, we aligned graph. Um, I think we've got blank still. I love but. big notebooks, but that just intimidates me. Well, some um, people really, we'll, really, you know, that's not for you. Some people not. really want something to to, yes. to write in or draw in, and it's a lot of a lot of room to, to yeah. work with. So. That A4 Plus always sells out fast. And I love these. The um, Penloop XL, the extra large. These came out a couple years ago, but I think that they really didn't mm, have close. enough stock when they first launched. They never have enough stock yeah. for these. Yeah, yeah. So but these, they have this, it's funny because they have this massive fountain pen on here, yeah. whereas the regular pen loops got like a little skinny thing. Yeah. So these will hold fatter pens, which is great. Yep. Yep. So there's that. We have those back in stock. Super excited. I love some of these colors. Yep. Very nice. When do computers overheat? When they need to vent. And then this. And this, um, yeah. So I would like to just say that I'm a little disappointed. It's not the right word. Maybe it disappointed is. Disappointed that nobody bought it. That this? nobody bought it at Christmas time because I was really well, hoping you know, it would disappear. Lindsay and I tried. I know. We tried. I know. We have we have the the, the beloved Schaefer clock <laughs> that Brian um, adores. Little desk clock. It's very Please cool. Please somebody like, buy this so I don't give it to him for it's Valentine's like, you know, it's Day kind of at a, or, or you just put it Father's on your desk Day. and you can just kind of look at it. Yeah. It, it's um, really cool. It's very nice, uh, a nicely done little clock. And it comes um, in a whole gift box, so it is really a great presentation. It can be paired with any in-stock Schaefer 300 or those 
kick-ass the Schaefer Legacy, Legacy Roller Balls. Beautiful, beautiful yep. pen. Yep. Call yep. the store to purchase because it's a whole gift pack thing. Yep. Yep. But somebody, please buy this. It's not because ex- it's every time Brian walks by the case, he looks the, at it. The, the, the clock is, um, essentially the clock in the gift box is 25 bucks. And, and then, then the price whatever, of the whatever pen. Whatever the price of the pen is yes. on top of that. So it's 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 a nice nice little extra addition for not much. You're going to get a pen as a gift anyway. Yep. Uh, for an extra twenty five bucks, you get that cool clock. There you go. Another spotlight: Pentel mechanical pencils. So go ahead and make your confession. Uh, I'm not I'm not always jazzed about pencils. Okay. That's my confession. I mean, I, I collect them. I probably have more pencils than most people do. You have most. You have more I have everything. Probably, but. I, you know, but, I, but th- that's different. You know, I collect that because it's a part of a set or something. But um, everyday use, I just don't use pencils. Okay. But these are pretty cool. Right. These are pretty cool. Also, there are people who do get hardcore into pencils. And so pencil people are just as obsessive, fanatical, excited, whatever it is yeah. that pen people are about fountain pens. Um, yeah, so there's so your, what do you have there? This is the Graph Gear 500. It's got this nice uh, knurled end here, a little bit weighted. It's very, very lightweight, except the, the weight is all centered right where you hold it. It's very nice. Okay. Um, fixed pipe. So we've got that. Um, and then the, the, the Mac Daddy here, the 1000. The Graph Gear 1000. Which has a retractable pipe. Um, and then you can operate it by using the clip. And that one's got a metal body, so it's a little yep. heavier. Yeah, it's heavier. Yep. But again, it has that knurled section. Um, and these are color coded. They're all color coded, so you gotta hold it up high. Um, you can tell which you can tell your your point threes apart from your point sevens and point seven. Yep. So yeah, these are nice. Also, this has a slightly um, rubberized feel. The little insets have a little rubber insert, so that makes it really easy to grip. All right, what else All you right. got? We got these. These are the, these are the classic, the P205s, um, plastic body, very lightweight, um, no frills, fixed pipe. But they also come at a yeah. value price. Yeah, they do, so. absolutely. Yeah, I love this blue. It's kind of a neat color. Now, when you were in, like, grade school, junior high, did you get into mechanical pencils at all? I think did I had a cross-century pencil. Wow, that's fancy. <laughs> I had some of these. It was either that or I had a Parker um, Parker. Uh, a jotter flighter mechanical pencil. Really? Yeah. Well, I always had these. Yeah, I mean, it was, cheap, it was nerdy back then. Ones. Mine were clear. Oh, yeah, those. the clear yeah, 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 in the yeah, fun yeah. colors. Yeah, and then we got the Orens, which is a different different beast altogether. And this is uh, the only one that comes in a point point two. two. Yeah, and so it has a retractable pipe. But the interesting thing about this, and they even have instructions on here is you do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. So you almost can't see it. And that prevents breakage, uh, particularly on the point point two two. and the point three. Um, So it's a really interesting design. And then these, I do get excited about. This is the Sharp Carry. And so it's a metal body. You've got a little bit of uh, grip section here. You can advance the lead here from the end. Or if you put the cap on, and it snaps on, you can then advance the lead mm-hmm. that way, which is cool. And then that's where your Yeah. That's where your eraser is. So those I think. No, are really it's cool. for a capped pencil, and this is super I cool. I love that they have a cap. Yeah. Because I know super I do cool. hear from customers that, you know, they, they don't carry their pencils with them because if they leave the lead extended, it'll break. So yeah. these are great. And you got 0. 0.5, 0. 0.7, and they're almost a little bit two tone on these blues and pinks because the cap is a little bit different shade of blue. Oh, it is. Than the barrel. Look at that. Um, Very cool. So 0. 0.5, 0. 0.7. Yeah, as far as mechanical pencils are cool concerned, these are cool. I like these. All right, so. and then separate lead and erasers are available, of course. We had a contest last APTV. We did. How are you doing with your planner and your journaling goals? Yeah? How are we doing? Uh, we were talking about it. We are talking about <laughs> it. Um, but uh, our hero, Steve Moss, here says, I haven't missed a day in my new five-year hobo so far. So, uh, Show off, Good for Steve. you. Good for you, Steve. Show off. Yeah, well, for him, that's, that's, that's like the second one. He's on his second yes. five years. So. Yes. Um, Karina loves to plan. Uh, I have my daily A5, which is my weekly planner and daily journal. 
my A6 five-year, uh, of which I am in my third year, plus my work planner and my passport planner. And as my YouTube name suggests, I love planning and I'm doing well in all the setups. I'm jealous. I've made planning and journaling a daily habit and is now part of my daily routine. Yeah, we just have to do that. <laughs> Rich Johnson says, great episode. I have been dead on with my planning, guitar practice, and journaling, personal journal and guitar practice journal. I haven't missed a day, but I, ha I have missed one or two entries in my personal journal as I make two entries per day, a.m. and p.m. Wow. wow. Uh, I am considering adding, adding an exercise planner journal as I am sealing daily improvements. Have a great week. Thanks, Rich. That's serious commitment. Two entries a day? I can't we do that. We are just way too yeah, slacker. Uh, Tara Kalazi says, I'm hanging in there with my work notebook planner. Hanging in there. I like that. Personal journal less successful as I'm still vacillating between two options. Your Hobonichi sale contributed to the vacillating, by the way. But it's all cool. Thanks for the podcast. All right. Hey, it's CT, says I'm in my third year in the Hobonichi Five-Year Journal and have not missed a day yet. Wow, that's great. I also have the Hobonichi Han this year. I write something each day, but sometimes struggle to add a doodle to the daily page to make it more fun. See, I could get into the doodling more than the yeah. actual yeah. whatever. Summer Pearl says, after reading comments, I've started two new journals. In addition to my normal random thoughts daily writing, I have a journal for books I'm reading or want to read and a journal for recipes I've cooked, along with our commentary. More excuses to use pens, paper, and adorable notebooks. Now, in your defense... I have a defense? Yeah. I have a defense. <laughs> well, <laughs> Finally. To your benefit, you and Dave have a beer journal. We do have a beer journal. And we, that we're, we're, you are really we're, good about. We're pretty religious about yes. it. I mean, we're actually on the second one. Yes. Uh, the first, the first one was one of those those Peter Popper journals. Yep. Um, and then when we filled that up, we didn't have one in stock, so I happened to have a, an extra journal around that was kind of a sample, uh, and we started on that. It doesn't have all the prompts that right. the other journal does, but that now happens. it's now it's now the blank pages, and I mean it's going to yeah. take us forever to fill that up, which but, is good. But yeah. every Friday, Brian and Dave fill out their beer journal. Yeah. Uh, the winner is E. Williams, who says, I managed to write a few sentences 90% of days. I never go back to read the entries. Sometimes it's little more than a pondering what to do ramble. Mostly, it's an excuse to use the pens. That's awesome. perfect, perfect. Write to eric at Anderson Pen, Anders, yeah, andersonpens.com. I can't talk to <laughs> You're right. I'm good. Remember what the web address is? <laughs> no. We have a, a new contest, a new survey. Uh, I think we did this. Uh, we did. With some, a variation on this. How many unused, uninked, pristine notebooks do you have? Every bound piece of stationary stuff you have. Um, that was my addition. So that also includes. Oh, every bound piece of stationary stuff. Okay. Um, like Rhodia legal pads. How yeah. many unused notebook stationary things? Notepads. Right. Boxes of stationary? Boxes of whatever yeah, okay. that have not been started, used, whatever, do you own? That, I have, that haven't been started. Yeah. Yeah, because if you started it and put it away, you still started it. I want to know next how week's many. Question. How many notebooks do you have where you wrote one thing? <laughs> yeah. And then I, realized... I don't think I have any. Okay. I'm going to say I have none. All right. Uh, there's so something written in every notebook Unused, uninked. Pristine notebooks, notepads, journals, legal pads, whatever it is you want to call them, okay. unused okay. pieces of stationery. Okay. One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on your Anderson Pens account. Awesome. There you go. You got anything else? This I week? think that's it. Pink Cliff, baby. That's a great, great color. Violet Blackberry. Well, this, this, might, this might be cool to, you know, if you start swapping sections. Well, because you know I have a thing for blackberries. Well, Tried yeah, to get blackberry do, yeah. pie once. And that put was this a section on that pen. No. Yeah. No. Justin and I were, were putting, we're, we put charcoal on one of these. It looks cool, too. Oh, well, yeah, so you get one of these and, and you can play a, mix and match at home. Yeah, That'd be know. cool. Like people haven't already done that. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And please like this video, give us a thumbs up, and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.